Hi guys, yasas, que calos estate to another episode of Dimitra Dishes. Today we're making a quick and easy yet elegant cod that's going to be baked in a harissa sauce. It's going to have a crunchy breadcrumb topping. It is perfect for date night because it's elegant and it comes together in under an hour, but that makes it also really nice for a dinner party because you can just multiply this and make it in a big pan for so many people or make something special for your family on any weeknight. It's up to you, your kitchen, your rules. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so normally I would use one big nine by 13 inch baking pan, but because I wanted to show you that this is a perfect date night meal or like a meal for two, um, I'm gonna use two of these small pie pans just so that way it just looks, it just makes for a really pretty presentation. And just so that way you can see that. I'm gonna start by slicing two bell peppers. You just wanna get it into strips. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. And then I have a red onion and I'm also gonna slice into like half moons and put half in one pan and half in the other. Uh, you don't have to use a red onion. If you have shallots, you can use shallots. You can use a regular yellow onion. It's gonna uh, sweeten up when it roasts in the oven anyway. But this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. And then I have a potato. You can peel it if you want, or you could leave it just the way it is. You can use two potatoes, but I'm also gonna slice this into really thin half moons, just so that way they cook quickly, just as quick as the other vegetables do. So I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil over the veggies, maybe like two tablespoons or so. And I'm gonna season with some salt, black pepper, and I'm gonna sprinkle some dried thyme on top. You can do dried oregano, either one will do. If you have a sprig of rosemary, you could drop that in there. Just toss everything all together. And these are gonna go into a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until they're fork tender. So it takes about 20, 25 minutes for the vegetables to soften up in the oven. You want to make sure that the potatoes especially are fork tender. You can keep them in there a little bit longer. Again, it all depends on your oven. But as soon as they're fork tender, they're ready because they are going to continue to bake with the codfish. So let me set these aside right now. So I have four little fillets of cod over here. You can use whatever white fish you want. You could even use salmon for this recipe if you prefer. So they're washed and patted dry and ready to go. But before we before we make the seasoning or the marinade, I'm going to season them with salt and pepper on both sides. And I should have done this step first before I even put the veggies in the oven, but I forgot. <laughs> it helps the marinade kind of flavor the fish even more. So in a little mixing bowl, I'm gonna put about four tablespoons of yogurt. This is plain whole milk yogurt. I lost count. <laughs> This is either four or five, doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, if you, don't, if you wanna leave this dairy free, you can leave the yogurt out, but the yogurt really does help um, the, the harissa stick to the fish. And then I'm using store-bought harissa. This is my favorite brand. If you can find it, it, it'll be in the Middle Eastern section of your supermarket, maybe in the Mediterranean section. I love it because it's not too spicy and it just has so much flavor. I do have a recipe um, and I teach you how to make your own at home. It's super simple to make. It's basically a combination of roasted sweet red peppers, some spicy peppers, a little bit of garlic, olive oil, and some warm spices, super simple to make. And it is packed with flavor. I love to use this on chicken, fish, even lamb. So I'm gonna mix this all together and it just smells so good. And you can put as much of the harissa as you want on it, on the fish. And like I said, you can leave the yogurt out if you don't want yogurt in your marinade and just put straight up harissa all over the fish. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the fish with the marinade over the veggies. We'll do two in each baking pan. And you don't wanna let any of this goodness go to waste. And because I love it so much, I'm actually going to put a little scant tablespoon over each one of the fish fillets because this stuff is so yummy. I like to buy the mild harissa, and when I'm making it, I like to make it mild just because it can get super spicy. So now, I have some capers here. Uh, these are store-bought. You can use olives instead. Just uh, chop up a few olives, take their pits out and just sprinkle them inside the pan. These are gonna add a nice salty kick, a little 
you know, it just kind of wakes up the dish. Okay, so that's that. Now we're just gonna make the topping. This would be delicious just as it is, but I have some breadcrumbs over here. I use panko breadcrumbs that are unseasoned. This is not sponsored, you guys, by any of these companies, but this is just a random brand that they sold at the supermarket. They're just plain, unseasoned panko breadcrumbs. They happen to be a little more uh, crunchy than the regular Italian breadcrumbs. And then I have a stick, which is four ounces of butter. I use salted butter, and I'm just gonna mix this all up. I melted it. This is gonna flavor um, the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put a, few, a little bit more in there. You need about 100 grams. And we're gonna season them with just a little pinch of salt. I'll put some black pepper in here. And I'm using thyme, but you, you, you can use oregano instead. And then you're just gonna put the breadcrumbs on top of each filet of fish. And if you wanna leave this gluten-free or um, low carb, just leave the breadcrumbs off. You're just not gonna have that nice crunchy topping. So my oven is still set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna set this on the center rack so that way they can bake for about 15 or 20 minutes. Once the panko is golden and the fish is fully cooked, I'll take it out. I'm also gonna sprinkle, before I serve it, I'm gonna sprinkle some scallions on top. You can do parsley instead and then it'll be ready to serve. All right, so the fish came out of the oven. It was ready in 15 minutes. It's ready to be served as a complete meal as it is because you have your veggies, even some potatoes. But I would serve this with a side salad, maybe some Mediterranean rice pilaf. If you want to serve some couscous with it, be my guest. Whatever you want, let me know how you're serving it in the comment section down below. But the veg veggies are perfectly caramelized and cooked and the potatoes are tender. And look how the fish just flakes and falls apart. Time to take a taste. Mmm. So many layers of flavor. The harissa adds a light kick to it. Just a little spicy, it's not that spicy. If you do get a different harissa from a, a, um, a Middle Eastern store, they do tend to be super spicy, so taste it before you put it on your fish and don't go overboard if it's too spicy. Like I said, that brand that I showed you is my favorite because it's nice and mild yet fully full of flavor. And then I like to make my own just to be sure that it's exactly how I want it to be. Those breadcrumbs are so buttery and crisp. The whole thing is amazing, delicious, just perfect for date night, perfect for your family. I hope you guys give it a try. The exact measurements are on the website, demetriusdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, sir.